In this video, we'll look at the number of valence electrons for cobalt, that's CO. When we look at the periodic table, the main group elements, like group 1, they follow a regular pattern. Group 1 has one valence electron. Elements in group 2, 2. Then in general chemistry, we skip over these transition metals, also called the d-block elements. We go to group 13 through 18, which have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 valence electrons. Cobalt, that's right here in the transition metals in this d-block group here. So it's a little more challenging with cobalt. So let's look at the electron configuration for cobalt to help us figure this out. So cobalt has 27 protons. That's its atomic number. Since this is neutral, same number of electrons. We spread these 27 electrons out here in our electron configuration. We could write this in condensed notation. So if we found the noble gas before cobalt, so we have 27, so we're looking for right here, 18 argon. We could put brackets around these 18 electrons and that would be our noble gas core. And then we have this is our electron configuration. So it's a little bit easier to look at this and understand that cobalt, outside of the noble gas core, it has these valence electrons, two plus seven, nine valence electrons. So basically we write the electron configuration, we put it in condensed notation, and the valence electrons, they're outside that noble gas core. Let's take a look at what that means when cobalt forms chemical bonds. So cobalt, because it's a transition metal, it loses different numbers of electrons, valence electrons, depending on what it bonds to. So most commonly, cobalt here loses two or three valence electrons. So if it loses two, we have cobalt two plus, and the configuration would look like this. So it lost these two electrons in the 4s, so we have 4s zero. For cobalt three plus, the other common ion it forms, that looks like this. So here it lost two from this 4s and one from the 3d7. So we have 4s0, 3d6. So these are two common ways that cobalt forms ions when it bonds with other elements. But since it has nine valence electrons, it could lose more or less than what we have here. So that's how you find the number of valence electrons for cobalt. We wrote the condensed notation, and then we looked at the electrons outside the noble gas core. This is Dr. B with the number of valence electrons for cobalt. Thanks for watching.